President Obama responded Tuesday to Trump's repeated claims that this election could be rigged, and he suggested Trump's suggestions were childish. The notion that somehow if Mr. Trump loses Florida, it's because of those people that you have to watch out for, that is both irresponsible and, by the way, doesn't really show the kind of leadership and toughness that you'd want out of a president. If you start whining before the game's even over, if, 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 if whenever things are going badly for you and, and you lose, you start blaming somebody else, then you don't have what it takes to be in this job. Because there are a lot of times when things don't go our way. But Trump didn't seem interested in the president's advice. Just hours later, he renewed his warnings about the election. The press has created a rigged system and poisoned the mind of so many of our voters. They have rigged it from the beginning by telling totally false stories, most recently about phony allegations, where I have been under constant attack. We're doing great in Colorado. My people back said, you're going to win Colorado. It doesn't matter what they're saying. Get out and vote. But they even want to try and rig the election at the polling booths, where so many cities are corrupt. And you see that. And voter fraud is all too common. And then they criticize us for saying that. And we have even Republicans. Oh, that's such a terrible thing to say. Well, take a look at Philadelphia, what's been going on. Take a look at Chicago. Take a look at St. Louis. Take a look at some of these cities where you see things happening that are horrendous. To discuss more on this topic, Kevin Sheridan is in Washington. He was communications director for Paul Ryan's 2012 vice presidential bid. And here in New York is Emily Tish Sussman, a Democratic strategist and campaigns director at the Center for American Progress Action Fund. Thank you both for joining me. Emily, I'd like to start with you if I can. Let's start with uh, the president's remarks today. What did, what did you make of that? I thought the president was absolutely right. I think what he's been talking, saying, you know, Trump can sense that he is no longer, you know, during the primary, he could always say, I'm the top, I'm the top, I'm the top. And it turned out he was winning state by state. Mm -hmm. And so now he can't just keep rolling on that. But so now he's trying to say, if he's not at the top, if he's not winning, it must be the system. It must be everyone who's against him. I mean, we can go after instance by instance of where Trump has said that the system is rigged against him. It was the moderators. It was the microphone. It was the polls. It's the now dozens of women who have separate accounts and corroboration who have said that he's been, he has either made attempts at them or spoke lewdly to them in some way. Um, so, I mean, I think the president is exactly right. In some ways, it's about Trump. And in some ways, it's about the instances he's working through. But really, it's about can he be president? And if this is so much that it rattles him, he really can't be. Kevin, I'd like to get your thoughts on that. You know, Senator Marco Rubio, House Speaker Paul Ryan, both have criticized Trump's suggestions of this election being rigged. Why are they pushing back? Well, I happen to be somebody who takes voter fraud seriously. I worked on it when I was at the RNC, as many people did. And I think, um, you know, we should take allegations of, of instances when it happens seriously. However, you're not going to be able to delegitimize an election three weeks out from it uh, when you're down by up to eight points, ten points. Uh, by saying that voter fraud is going to be what the uh, you know what does it, and that's what he's trying to do right now is is give himself an out for not performing uh, as a winner, and he's defined himself as a winner all along, and he's right now he's in a position where he's not going to win if the election is held today, he would not win, and he needs a reason. Now, if he wants to talk about the media being uh, against him, perfectly fine. If he wants to talk about the uh, even the FBI being. Uh, on the side of Hillary, because I think they are too. Uh, make that case. Be specific, but don't try to, you know, undermine the entire uh, election of our country. Kevin, just curious if you think, though, that um, local municipalities will take extra steps 
to make sure that there are no questions in the voting results. Yeah, and I think you're going to hear from a lot of uh, Republican governors and Democratic governors, too. Uh, about their processes that they have in place. And the best thing about our election system, honestly, is that it's so uh, spread out and it's not uh, centrally focused. It's not a federal government program. It's something that each um, precinct, uh, you know, implements themselves. And if somebody wants to uh, learn more about it, be a poll watcher, reach out to their state party, get involved. Uh, you can do that. And uh, everybody should take it seriously. And. Uh, this kind of talk, this kind of loose talk, though, with it is not particularly helpful to our democracy. But, and I, I think you were, were going to jump in. Yeah, I mean, I think it is worth noting that, you know, voter fraud, even though Trump is trying to raise the flags on it, is actually not so widespread. Out of the last couple of years, out of a billion ballots cast, a billion ballots cast, there were 31 cases of voter fraud. So that's the numbers. I mean, I worked in voter protection, in election protection in Pennsylvania, where Trump is saying that, you know, he thinks it's very likely it does not happen. Voter fraud does not happen. Would does happen is intimidation at the polls. It's actually very common in Pennsylvania, and we had we worked on it. And it is very unfortunate that people think that they should be going to the polling places to intimidate people to prevent them from from voting. And I think the fact that Trump is trying to encourage this is really despicable.